Hey everybody, I'm Nicole Ricky, and I'm rolling out in my 2017 Ram Promaster City to Utah. When the voices in your head Are loud enough to make you lose your mind but Just the same when you're dominating the day I want to be the one who's by your side You know my love is not the jealous type It doesn't matter if we win or lose oh, I can stay or I can come No matter where you're coming from I can be the one to let you choose Wanna hold you close but never hold you back Just like the banks to the river And if you ever feel like you are not enough I'm gonna break all your mirrors I wanna be there when the darkness closes in To make the truth a little clearer I wanna hold you close but never hold you back I'll be the banks for your river Hey guys, my ramen is done cooking. Look at what it looks like. Yum. <laughs> it's really yellow right now. I don't know why. Okay, so today is Sunday, and this is my fourth Sunday on the road, which is so crazy to say. And I went to church this morning. I spent my first church service in Indiana, my second two in Colorado, and then this was my first Sunday in Utah. It actually marks a week since I've been in Utah because I arrived um, after church last Sunday. And so I really actually just took a rest day today. Um, after church, they did um, like a Bible study hour, which was really awesome. We ended up watching a video about missionaries to Tibet killed in a plane crash. Um, but they had such an amazing testimony with their life. So I'm glad that I stayed for that. And then I just went to a park and chilled for the whole day. I did some more reading. I... Um, yeah, really didn't do much, kind of just laid out. It was a really sunny, nice day today. The clouds are coming now, but it was really beautiful. I've been praying for a buffet. Truly, I've been praying that I would like find a golden corral. I have like two different nights now. I've woken up at 3 a.m. in GPS buffets near me because I'm just so hungry and I'm, you know, burning so much energy and then I'm eating stuff like this. It's just like not satisfying. Um, and every single church service I went to, there's been no snacks. You know, sometimes they have pastries or whatever. Well, this Sunday, it was a buffet. And first of all, the church was probably, there was only 20 people there and there was so much food and like, I didn't feel bad to eat as much as I wanted. And there was like, obviously I didn't eat at all, but I filled myself up and I had like four pieces of cake and I had cheese and crackers. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so thankful for all of these snacks. I'm gonna try and stay up for the stars tonight. I've been so exhausted every day because I've, you know, been so busy that I end up falling asleep before it gets really dark. And the stars are so amazing here because there's literally no one around. Um, so I'm hoping to see some good stars tonight. And then tomorrow I'm headed to um, Capitol Reef National Park. It'll be my third national park in Utah. Yep, and one last update. So I went um, to Lions Park for the last time. It's in Moab. Um, it's been my kind of home base for the last week because I've been in and out of Moab. And it just has a really nice bathroom where I um, wash dishes and brush my teeth and wash my face. And um, it was sad to leave there this morning. I um, did, so it's been, I think, um, it's been like nine days, I think, since I've showered, which is so gross. Um, you can probably tell I look gross. I tried to clean myself up. So I have these wipies that are like um, supposed to be like shower or like bath wipes. I am looking forward to my next shower, which I don't know when that will be, um, but I need to work on that. I feel like I don't stink like but I probably do to other people. I know my van stinks still. Mm. Good thing I brought plenty of clothes. I, I will not, like, obviously I rewear sweatshirts. Um, but other than that, I pretty much wear a new t-shirt every day. Um, definitely wear new underwear every day. Um, so I'm hoping that I can last for another week or so until I can do laundry um, at my cousin's house. One more thing is originally when i decided to do van life i was like oh it's gonna be super remote and i'm really excited to really dive deep with the lord um 
and kind of limit my phone use and contact with people um, and I haven't really done that I've been on my phone quite a bit um, and I've been talking to a lot of people actually I'm really thankful because the first three weeks I needed contact with people um, probably like 10 different friends I've been in contact with um, on a regular basis which has been really good but for one week from this Sunday to next Sunday I'm gonna do like a week of silence where I make no phone calls I'm gonna text um, my one contact my sister Lexi to just let her know where I am every day when I do have service um, and she has my schedule and everything but other than that I'm not going to really talk to anyone um, and I think I'm yeah I think that'll be good for me. So I'm just gonna do one week and see how that goes. I ate all of that. Okay, so my bowl is burnt on the bottom and I've scraped and scraped and scraped and I cannot get it off. And actually same with my jet boil. I have like burnt stuff on the bottom and I've scrubbed literally for 20 minutes. Um, so if you have any tips on how to clean my dishes, please give them to me. Um, it's difficult to wash dishes out here, but I know that I need to do it right away. But even if I do it right away, like sometimes that burn really sticks. Um, if you're worried for me because I'm eating like garbage um, and I don't know how to do dishes, you can join me in praying for my future husband because um, I'm really hoping that the Lord will provide a good and faithful man who's a chef. <laughs> or at least can, you know, cook some really good meals because... Not that I can't cook, because I can cook, don't get me wrong, I can cook. I just don't really have the patience for it. I want quick meals like this. Um, yeah, so, thanks. Bye!